This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Now, what the heck is a VPN? It's a virtual private network, a service that encrypts your internet data and gives you extra security against ad companies, hackers, and any other online threats out there. It works on your phone, computer, video game consoles, you name it. Simply open up the program, hit that big button, and boom, you're connected. You can even customize the location you appear in, like Japan, for example. Yeah, I like anime. And with a VPN means I now have access to Japan's library of shows on Netflix, including anime that we don't even get here. And boom again. It's really that easy. I've personally received thousands of scam emails and have had my YouTube channel hacked at one point. And with ExpressVPN, that fear is no longer there since I'm protected. It's less than $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free by clicking that link in the description box. ExpressVPN.com slash Connor the Waffle. That link again is ExpressVPN.com slash Connor the Waffle. Play the intro. Okay, so a few years ago I made three videos about Wario bootlegs, Yoshi bootlegs, and Princess Peach ROM hacks. They've since been taken down for... reasons. But today I decided to re-upload all three of them in this ultimate Mario bootleg compilation. So, if you've never seen them before, enjoy. And keep in mind, these videos are old, so they're not great. Let's start things off with a game called Yoshi's Adventure. Sounds innocent enough. And, so far, looks innocent enough. Let's begin. Uh... Really? Okay, I guess we'll let it slide. I mean, it doesn't look too bad with the- Ah! Come on! What is that? Who did the art for this game? Me? Have you seen my art? Look at it! You Yoshis are the key to world domination. How? Oh god, he's laughing! This is a nightmare already. Oh, you're just gonna up and do that? So, that's the plot of the game. This creep named Mail stole all the Yoshis. <laughs> oh, no wait. One Yoshi managed to escape. Good. I guess there wouldn't be much of a game without one. So, let's start the first level. Well, let's be fair here. What's that saying? Never judge a book by its cover. Let's apply that here. Apart from the visuals that scream Microsoft Paint, which again, I can't really judge since this is my art, the gameplay is surprisingly really solid. Like, to the point where I'd call it fun. Yeah! The game is really fast and simple. Yoshi's normal jump is insane, and the fact that you can add the flutter kick to it makes it all the more enjoyable meaning that there aren't any cheap deaths. So, if it happens, it's 200% your fault. Hello, Overall, the game is pretty fun, apart from occasionally feeling empty and lacking in overall identity and structure. But who am I to judge? IGN? Uh, the game lacks an overall identity. Shut the hell up! Also, to be honest, the game's visuals do kind of grow on you after you play for a few minutes. Never mind. So that game wasn't really too weird. Let's dive deeper into the internet and see what we can find. Kirby! Hold on, this is going somewhere, I promise. Have you ever been playing Kirby's Adventure on the NES and thought to yourself, you know what, this is cool and all, but it needs more fat guys and purple overalls? Of course you haven't thought that, why would you? Well, someone in the magical land of Taiwan thought that, and the result is this. Wario Land 2, featuring a giant godlike Wario who has come to devour the land. Please don't look at me like that. Wario Land 2, not to be confused with Wario Land 2, is a bootleg created by the JY Company, a Taiwan-based video game company known for making loads of NES bootlegs that no one should ever have to play. The game itself is literally Kirby's adventure on the NES, just replaced with a poorly implemented Wario sprite. He still has the copy ability and 
can float somehow, just like Kirby could. However, there are a few times where you can still spot Kirby because the game was programmed very poorly. Wario always has this pink shade no matter where you go, so sometimes he really stands out. You sicken me! The game is fine, I guess, but it's just so whatever. It plays exactly like Kirby, just with a more unappealing sprite. I guess it makes some sense, considering Wario and Kirby both like to eat a lot. And then there's this. The most elegant Kirby dance I've ever seen. Here we have a game called Peach and Daisy in the Ultimate Quest. Now I will admit, the logo is... pretty crappy. That face has seen war. But don't let that deter you from this game. Here we have a ROM hack of Super Mario Bros. 3, replacing Mario and Luigi with... Peach and Daisy. The Ultimate Quest is remade from top to bottom. Every stage is completely new and original. Even the overworld has a makeover and is full of intrigue. Like, what is that? I don't know, but I want to go there. The game is really well designed. The levels are all creative and enjoyable, albeit a little empty sometimes. A few clouds and mountains here and there wouldn't hurt. There's also some cool new power-ups. Like, instead of the frog costume, we now have a power-up that turns Peach and Daisy into mermaids, which is infinitely cooler. Peach also sometimes just doesn't have a face. Sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't. She's a strong, independent woman. She can do whatever she wants. Also, did I mention that this game is hard because wowee. It can be difficult. Definitely meant for the more skilled Mario 3 players. I mean, this right here is World 1. Ugh, give me a second to get used to the game. Princess Peach isn't used to this kind of hectic chaos. She spends most of her time standing around a cell waiting to be rescued, and all of a sudden you expect her to be a parkour ninja? If you're looking for a good, fun challenge, this right here will do it. Oh, hey, we got a letter from Mario. Princess. Visiting planet Zebus. Samus sends her love. I've sent a little souvenir. See you soon. Love, Mario. What's Mario doing with Samus? Maybe he went to Planet Zebus to... Ahem... Bake a cake. Ah, here's one! Yoshi's Island DX! Are you ready? No, not that one. At least, I don't think. Alright, let's... Let's break this down. We have a low-resolution, ugly picture of Yoshi, with this bootleg-looking logo, and a Donkey Kong Country background. Not to mention... Biebersoft. Is it too late to go back? Oh... Oh, baby Jesus, what monstrosity have I downloaded onto my computer? It's like... Where do we begin? Yoshi's tongue that's poorly animated? The stage layout that makes no sense and is just a mishmash of random blocks thrown wherever? The fact that the game lacks any kind of physics? Or how about the obvious one? Everything is Donkey Kong Country related. Okay, I lied, there's some booze. But still, this is awful. The objective of the game is to eat all of the fruit you see on screen. All two of them. Kind of like Yoshi's story, but, you know, bad. You also have to eat all the enemies, which is a total chore. Then you find the exit, and leave. That's it. Do that about four or five times throughout multiple low-resolution Donkey Kong stages, and congratulations! You've beaten the game, and you can celebrate with all of your friends. Like the Star Fox crew, and... Who are you? Ugh! I'm uninstalling this right now! Uh-oh. I, uh... I didn't mean it literally. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we're playing. Wario Date is a dating simulator where you play as Wario, not trying to find him a relationship, but scamming people and exploiting their emotions and want for love for money. Love. There's no force more powerful in the world than love. 
<laughs> Sounds like the perfect way to scam some chumps out of their money. <laughs> so our first victim is Luigi, where we end up playing Truth or Dare because we want to scam him somehow? I don't see how that works. And it just goes on for like 15 minutes, and it's not even like funny. It's dialogue like Luigi opens the door rubbing his head. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Luigi. Oh, Wario. What is it? I was just driving by and saw your lights go out. It's like, who cares? What is this? So we end up playing Truth or Dare and some hijinks ensues, like Luigi daring Wario to eat a spider web. Great. It's then Luigi's turn, and he goes for a dare, where we can then dare him to... Kiss? Oh no. I dare you to kiss me? Oh, stop this! W what Yeah, my thoughts exactly! Easy there, Wario. Don't look too excited. So Luigi actually ends up not doing the dare, saying he wants his first kiss to be with someone special. But he's willing to give Wario 100 coins instead, which is kinda weird. I think a more proper response would have been... Get out of my house! But regardless... The plan works, I guess. Yay, Wario. But what if Luigi said yes and kissed him? There's no money to be made. Wait, why do I care?